Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can get Display Capture to show properly inside of OBS Studio. So when you have Display Capture enabled, what will happen is you won't get the display showing at all, but instead you'll get a black screen. Um, on my laptop, this is because it's trying to use the wrong graphics card for processing the display capture. So if we were to open up NVIDIA settings, the NVIDIA control panel, um, once you have NVIDIA uh, drivers installed, you can find that in the notification area, bottom right, or you can just type that into search NVIDIA control panel. You should be able to pop open this screen. So what you may notice is that under here where it says set physics configuration, the laptop display is going to the integrated driver, the Intel graphics, and then your dedicated card isn't actually controlling the display of your laptop screen directly. So what that means is OBS needs to record using this graphics uh, card rather than this one. So we can control that specifically and only for the OBS program by going into manage 3D settings and then program settings. So you pop this open and once it loads, you can select a program to customize. So you can see here open broadcaster software or OBS 64.exe. You select that and then you need to change the preferred graphics processor for this program from your high performance NVIDIA processor to integrated graphics. Um, now one other possible way you can get around this if you really want OBS to record using your NVIDIA card would be to uh, actually open up the device manager. So inside of the device manager, you can come down here to display adapters and you can disable your Intel graphics chip, which at least in my system forces the dedicated card to become the display output for the monitor as well. Now I imagine by disabling your Intel graphics completely, you might get a performance decrease, but that's one other option if you really, of course, want your main NVIDIA card um, to be recording the monitor and therefore being used by OBS itself. Uh, but for me, I'm just using the integrated graphics here, so make sure you set that if you're going with my original strategy. And once you do that, you should be able to close OBS, reopen it, and you may have to re-add in the display capture here, but once you do that, it should display properly once you have this properties for display capture thing come up. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys are able to get the screen to display and record properly. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future videos.